What's up everyone, how you all doing? Blue Nerd here and welcome back to Minecraft. Today we are back in our medieval city and we're going to be building a church. But before we get started on the church, let me just show you a few things that we have done. So this is the farmhouse that we built from episode 1 and what we've been doing is we've been laying down some paths around the outer edge here. As you can see we've got some really nice detailed paths in here. Um, we've got a nice bridge all in place. We've also got this uh, little kind of, I suppose it would kind of be like um, a little guard house or guard tower just by the front gate here that we got for the city. Um, it's only small, it's nothing much and I didn't bother doing a tutorial for it because it is very simple. Um, but if you guys would like to see me build it then let me know in the comments and we can always rebuild it, it's not a problem. We also have a small stable just over here. It's very basic, very small and basic, it's nothing much, that's why, I, again, that's why I built this off camera, very small. Now this build over here guys, this is a house that I've built, I have done a tutorial for this, so I'll leave a link in the description for the tutorial if you guys would like to see how to build this house. But this is a pretty cool house, and can also be used as a row house, so you can kind of stack it side by side and make like a row of houses in one, so it's pretty cool. Then we got our lovely uh, water mill that we built in last episode, which I so love the way this has turned out, guys. It looks amazing. It really does look good. It looks way better than I expected it to. So I'm really happy with the look of this. I've made a few layouts for a few houses that I plan on building over here. We've got our paths all in place. I am going to be building a castle across the river there, but... Ignore the layout at the moment guys because that layout is totally not what I'm going to be using so we can ignore that We're going to build part of the village around here So we're going to build a few houses a blacksmith a tavern Maybe like a little bakery and a few shops and then the shops and that are all going to kind of come around here And maybe we'll have like a kind of town square or I don't know something nice right where this kind of curved edge is here I want to put something really nice on this edge so I don't know what it's going to be yet, but um, if, you have, if you guys have any ideas or suggestions for what we can put there, then be sure to let me know. Um, anyway guys, we're going to jump straight in with the build for today. So today we're going to be building a church. Now we are going to do this block for block so you guys can follow along. This is going to be a full tutorial. Um, and it's going to be pretty big, so you're going to want to clear yourself a 30 by 19 block space. Now for this build we're going to need a few resources, you're going to need some stone blocks, polished andesite, glass panes of your choice, I'm going with red and cyan, dark oak planks, dark oak stairs, stone brick stairs, stone brick blocks, cobblestone wall, iron bars, dark oak trap doors, flowers of your choice, spruce door, dark oak slabs and some normal stone slabs. And with that being said guys, let's get straight into the tutorial. Alright, we're going to be starting with the tower at the very front of the build. So, we're going to start by placing a polished andesite block just here. We're going to leave a 5 block gap behind it and place another one. Leave a 5 block gap to the right and place another one. Leave a 5 block gap to the bottom and place another one. We should now have a square and there should be a 5 block gap between each of these blocks. Now, we're going to raise each of these blocks until they are 23 blocks in height. So, we're going to start from the back here. And we've got one there already, so 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23. And we're going to do that for all four of these blocks. You should now have something that looks a bit like this. Now we're going to go over to the left hand back pillar and we're going to come diagonal in and one and we're going to place a stone block just there and then another one, two, three and four, that's five in total. Place one to the side, leave a one block gap, place two here and then one, two, three and four behind just like so. Now we're going to go ahead and raise this up by another two blocks, so raise all of these by two. And then we're going to go ahead and place one in the center there, just like so. Now, we're going to raise all of this 
that we have just placed all the way up until it is in line with the top of that very top block at the top there. So we're going to start from the back here and just go all the way around and just keep raising it up. Okay, once that's done, we're going to start working on the foundation for the rest of the build. So we're going to come around to the front of the build just like so. We're going to come to the left hand side just like here. Now on this first block on the inside here, we're going to go one, two and three. On the fourth block, we're going to place a block and then two, three, four and five. We're going to go one and two to the left. That's three in total here. Leave a one block gap. Place one, two, three, leave a gap. 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 One, two, and three. So now you should have one, two, three, four, five gaps in between. Now from this corner here, we're gonna place another one, two, three, leaving four blocks in total. Leave a one block gap. Then go one, two, three, four, five. Leave a one block gap. One, two, three, and four. Then we're gonna turn and come around to the side here, place two here, which means there is three blocks in total. Leave a one block gap. One, two, three, leave a 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 gap. And then finally, one, two, three. And then all we gotta do is fill this side here up to the wall. Now, again, guys, there should be five gaps in total on this side, and they should line up with the opposite side. Once you've done that, we're going to start from the front right hand side over here. And from this corner here, we're going to place a polished andesite. Then we're going to place one in front of every single gap all the way around the build and also diagonally on each corner. So diagonally there in that gap, that gap, that gap. Make sure they ain't placed in the gap. You don't want to place them here. You want to place them in front of the gaps, like so. And you want to do this all the way around. And then once you get back to the front on the other side, place one there, and then you're done. Now, we're going to go ahead and all of these pillars around the edge here, we're going to raise these all up until they're seven blocks in height. So we want six more blocks on top of these. So one, two, three, four, five, and six. One, two, three, four, five, and six. And just do this all the way around. Okay, we should now have something that looks a bit like this. Now, grab yourself a random block. It can be a dirt block or anything. It doesn't really matter. And on the inside here, in all of these gaps, just place a dirt block or just a block that can kind of stand out that you can see. Uh, this ain't majorly important, but it will just help uh, late, a little bit later on. Yeah, just like that. So you should have one block in each of those gaps, just like so. It can be a wood planks, it can be a bit of dirt, it doesn't matter what block it is. It's just a kind of, uh, just so that we can recognize the locations. Right, okay guys, now grab your stone blocks again. And what we're going to do is we're going to go around and we're going to raise all of these walls that we have just put around the edge. So we're going to run blocks from this edge here, all the way around on top of this, and including on top of the dirt all the way around, all the way, and we're gonna raise it until it is the same height as these pillars, okay? And then we will break the windows out once we're done. All right, once the walls are all in place, it's time to break out the windows. So we're gonna start from the right-hand side over here, and we're gonna come over to this first gap between these two pillars. And in the center here, you want to come one block down from the top and break one, two, three, and four. Okay, and you want to do the same in between all of these gaps. So you want to break the four, so one block from the top and then break the four in the center. Okay, and do that down the all of this side and all of the opposite side as well. But we don't do this on the back of the build because that will be a bit different to the sides. Okay, once you've got all of your windows in place, you should now have a nice window in the center of each pillar, and there should be two blocks at the bottom and one block at the top of the window. Okay, now we're gonna start from this side here. Grab yourself your dark oak planks, and underneath the windows in those gaps, just place three dark oak planks like so. And you wanna do this for every gap 
all the way around the build and we are also going to do this in the gaps on the back of the build so we do it down this side and we're also going to do it across the very back of the build like this filling in them gaps and then down this side as well filling in those three block gaps under your windows Okay, once you've done that, you want to go around and you want to place a block of dirt or a block of grass on top of all of the planks that you have just laid down. Just like this. Okay, guys, once you've got all of your dirt in place, go ahead and place three trap doors across the front of these and then close them. And do this all the way around. Go ahead and place your trap doors across the ones at the back of the build as well. Make sure you don't miss those. Okay guys, once that's done, you should have something that looks a bit like this. Now, we're going to go ahead and grab our polished andesite. And in front of each of these pillars down the side here, we're going to go ahead and place one, two pillars, uh, blocks like that. One, two, one, two. And we'll do this all the way down the whole side. Now, once you get to the corner, you're going to place two there. And then you're going to place two around the back of the build like so. On these two pillars in the centre, we're going to actually place four, like so. And then when we get back to the corner again, it'll be one and two. We're going to do the same down this side, so we're going to place two in between each pillar. Or in front of each pillar. Now, once you've done that, guys, go ahead and place two in on the front, just like so. And then two in front of this pillar, this pillar, and this pillar. So now every single pillar should have a two blocks in front of it, except for the ones, the two at the back, which will have four in front of them. Right, now we're going to just make some little flower pots just here. So... The actual, the, the long pillar at the back there, we're going to place one, two, three blocks to the side of it, and then one diagonally like so. We'll have a little fl flower pot just there. And we're going to do exactly the same on this side here. So one, two, three, and then one diagonally. Once you're done, make sure you go ahead and fill these in with some grass or some dirt. It doesn't really matter. I've gone ahead and put grass inside mine. And then we can put some flowers in those a little bit later on. Okay, now we're going to go around the, the build and all these little pillars that we made, we're going to place a stone brick stair just on top of them, just like so, facing in towards the pillar. Make sure you get all of them. And even at the back here, make sure you put one on top of the higher pillars in the center. And then make sure you do it on both sides of each corner. Okay, now we're going to make a start on the roof. So for the roof, we're going to grab our dark oak stairs and we're going to place one on the very top of this first pillar. Now we're just on the right hand side of the build and we're on this very first pillar at the front. Place another one just to the side of it like so and then place an upside down stair behind it with a normal one on top, an upside down one behind and just repeat that pattern until you reach the wall. Okay, once you've done that, go ahead and place another stair to the side here. And we're going to just extend this all the way until we are one block past the back of the build. Once you're at the end, make sure you place an upside down stair just there. And then we're going to go ahead and place an upside down stair in between all of these gaps across the edge. Okay, now grab your polish and the site again. And by the side of these stairs, we're going to place one block like so. Now, guys, what we're going to do is we're going to place some placeholders for the rest of the pillars. So we've got one block on top of this pillar at the bottom here. So we're going to go across, skip this one here and place a block on top of that one. Skip this one, place a block on top of that one. Skip this one and place a block on top of that one. 
Now, we're going to do the same from this corner here, just so we can remember it later on. So one there, skip that one, place one there, skip that one, place one there, skip that one, and place one there. Now, back over to this side, we're going to go ahead and fill in the roof across this edge here. So we come up to this block here, and we're going to extend the next level. And again, we're going to go across until we're in line with the stair below, just like so. And we're going to keep doing that until we get to the top here. So let's do that. All right, guys, once you get to the top here where this um, pillar starts for the tower, go ahead and break these two blocks here, not the first one, the next two. And then you can place a stair there and a stair there. Then you can go ahead and place your two andesite blocks back in place. And then just extend these two until they meet the same end as the rest of the stairs. Just like so. Now grab your dark oak planks and behind this one, which should be center of the tower, it should be right in the middle, place some blocks just like so. Just up until we get to the edge like this. Now, we're going to kind of repeat what we've done down there. So we basically put our polished andesite blocks on the edge. Now, if you don't have enough polished andesite, you could always use stone bricks. Stone bricks will work just as well. And we're going to basically repeat the same thing, guys. So we fill in our stairs across to this block. And we do that all the way to the top. Okay, and once you get to the top, guys, don't forget to run some solid blocks just behind like so. And we're going to continue the pattern. So back to the polished andesite, placing them at the side of the stairs. And then we're going to fill in this final gap with our stairs and run them all the way up to that polished andesite block. Okay, and go ahead and place your polished andesite blocks on the end of these for one last time for this side. Now this time we're just going to place a single row of stairs on the very end. And then we're going to place an upside down stair underneath each of these ones here. And that finishes off the one edge of the roof, which is looking pretty good. Now, we're going to repeat exactly what we've done for this side on the opposite side. Now, remember, guys, this first block here is the block that we, we put above the wall. So be sure to start from this block here and one to the side. And then start with stair stepping them up, placing an upside down and a normal one in rotation. Now, if you come up to the top here, guys, make sure you fill in the center piece of your roof with some solid planks 
and then go ahead and place an upside down stair there a normal stair on top and then an upside down stair in front of that one now while we're at the back of the build here go ahead and grab your stone blocks and just fill in the back of this wall here so raise it up until you are level with the top of the roof so make sure you fill all of this in all the way up until you are up to that block there Once you're done, grab your polished andesite blocks and extend these pillars all the way to the roof. Just like so. And then grab your stone brick stairs and come just underneath the edge here and just place some upside down ones just to finish off the edge of the roof like so. You should have two more on here. And then two on this side here. And then finally, just to finish up this last piece inside here. Just to neaten up the edge of that roof. Now, if we come to the very top here at the center, guys, go down by one, two, three. On the fourth one, break that one. Two, three, four, and five. And then at the top here, just come down one and to the right and to the left and break one. And then we've got a nice cross at the back of the build. Right now, we're going to finish up the rest of the roof here, guys. So what we're going to do is we want to place a final polish and a site in the centers at the tops of these points. Like so. And then we're going to just place from the back here, we are going to place a stair in between these gaps facing towards the front. And that should give a nice finish across the top of the roof. Now, grab your stone brick stairs. And we're going to go ahead and where our polished andesite blocks are, we're going to place an upside down one on each of these all the way up to the top. At the sides of the tower, make sure you place one against the tower wall itself. And then just continue this around all of the roof. So you want to do it for both this side and the opposite side of the roof as well. Okay, once that's all in place, you should have something that looks a bit like this. Now, go ahead and grab your cobblestone wall. And from the first one on the corner here, we're going to place one on the top of that. Skip the next one and place one on top of the next one. Skip this one, place one on top of the next one. Skip this one, place one on top of that one. And this one should be touching the wall of the tower. Now, we're going to do the same on all of these. So start from the bottom one, work your way up, skipping one each time. And the top one should end up at the very top of the roof. Okay, and we're going to do this for both sides, guys. So go ahead and fill all of these in place. Okay, once you're done, go ahead and place an iron bar on top of all of your cobblestone walls. Okay, and that is the roof all finished. Now, we're going to start adding in a few details onto the tower. So, before we do that, let's grab our stone blocks and just fill in these little triangle points at each side of the roof here. So, go ahead and place your blocks all in here. And do the same on this side. Now, 
Now grab your stone brick stairs guys and right where the edge of that roof is just come underneath it and then just place some upside down stairs to finish off the edge of the roof like so. Do that on both sides. Okay, looking good. Now, let's start from the bottom of the tower and work our way up. Let's break a ring around the door like so, making a 3x3 three three gap. Grab your dark oak planks, place one, two, three, inset by one block, and then one, two, three, and then place an upside down stair in the center like so. Grab, grab a spruce door or a dark oak door, whichever you choose, and place one from the inside like so. Okay, that's looking pretty good. Now, place an upside down stair there and there. Now, don't worry, guys. I know it is brick. We are going to be adding a few bricks into the walls to texturize it a little bit. So these stairs will blend in very nicely. Now, we're going to grab our polished andesite. And from the bottom one here, we're going to go up by 12. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Place one there and run it all the way across to the other side, just like so. Place an upside down stair in the corners of each side, and then a normal stair on the top of each side. Now, where the doorway is, we're gonna go up by one, two blocks, then on the third block, place a upside down stair like so, and then leave a three block gap above these, and then place a normal stair just like that. Break one, two, three, four, five in the center. Place in an up, a normal stair there and an upside down stair at the top. Grab your cobblestone, place three at this side and three at this side. And you got yourself a nice little window. Now we're gonna do something very similar pretty much over here. So we're gonna go to this side, leave a one block gap at the side and we're gonna come one up from the ground and place one there. Leave a gap and place one there. Then we're gonna go ahead and go one, two, three on the fourth one, place one there and there. And then break one, two, three, four, and five. Place one there and one there. And then just place your cobblestone walls on each side. Do exactly the same over here. So again, we come one over from the bottom and one up. Place it like that. Leave a three block gap between it without breaking a block. Place two stairs there like so. Break five through the center. Upside, uh, normal stair and upside down stair. And cobblestone wall. Okay, that's looking pretty good. Now we're gonna do a window at each side of these towers here. So we're gonna do the same thing. So where the iron bar is, one above, we'll go one and two. Leave a three block gap, one and two. Break one, two, three, four, five. Stair and stair. And then cobblestone wall at the sides. And we're gonna do one directly on the opposite side here. So we'll place a stair, one above the iron bar and at each side. Leave a one, two, three block gap. Two stairs. One, two, three, four, five. Stair and a stair. And then three cobblestone walls like so. Okay, right. Now get your polished andesite. And right across the very top of the roof, we're going to just run a ring around the edge. So you should now have something that looks a little bit like this. Now from the top, we're going to go down by, by two blocks. So one and two. On the third block, we go one, two, three, four, and five. And then break this block here and this block here to make a cross shape like so. Grab the stone brick stairs. And again, we're going to go upside down block, upside down block. We'll do the same with this side. So upside down upside down and do an upside down stair in each corner of each side
just like so. Now at the center in the top here, we could go ahead and place an upside down stair there. And then at the bottom, we will place a polished andesite block with a stone brick on top, just like that. Now back to the very top, and we're gonna place an upside down stair on the corner with a one block gap between it and fill it all the way to the edge. You should be on each corner and do this all the way around the roof. Just like so. Now go ahead and grab yourself a dark oak slab. And you wanna place your dark oak slab on the top half just between these pillars, but not on the corner. Okay, so just these three in the center. Once you've done that, grab your polished andesite, place two on each corner, just like so. And then go ahead and place one on top of the upside down stairs here, all the way around. And then place your cobblestone wall on top of the dark, dark oak slabs. And then just place a cobblestone wall on top of each of the polished andesite blocks. And that looks pretty good. Right, now we're gonna go back to the top of the roof here grab our dark oak planks, and we're gonna just break out this one ring of stone. Make sure you don't break out the polished andesite, just the inner stone ring, like so. And we're gonna run dark oak planks around that ring. Now, ooh, without falling, locate the front of the build, which is there because that is where the cross is. And then you just wanna go three planks across there, three planks across here. And on the back edge, you just want one block in the center like so. Okay, that is looking pretty good. Now that is the main structure complete. So what we're gonna do now is go ahead and grab ourselves some glass panes. I'm gonna grab myself some red glass panes. And I'm also going to grab the cyan. So first of all, I'm going to place in all of my windows. So I'm going to start from the front here and fill this one up. This one here. This one here. And then the two on the top at the side of the tower. And then we're gonna go down to the side of the build and fill in all of our windows down this side and the opposite side. Okay, once you're done, grab your stained red glass panes and go ahead and fill in the cross at the very back of the build. Okay, that is looking pretty good. Now, we're gonna grab our dark oak planks and we're gonna just quickly come onto the inside here. And we're gonna go ahead and fill in above the door here. Fill in this wall all the way up. Just make sure you don't cover up this window. Go around it like so. And then keep filling this up. Fill it up all the way to the roof. Now, where the cross is here, what we're gonna do is we're gonna get ourselves some red concrete blocks. Or you could get red wool or even red concrete powder. We'll go ahead and use red concrete powder because it's got a bit of a kind of, uh, a little bit of kind of grain look to it. And we're gonna just fill the cross in like so on this side. So now when we come back down 
and we go on to the outside of the build we can see the red cross like so now mobs will actually spawn here so what we're gonna do is get ourselves some dark oak trapdoors and we're gonna place one there place one there and you can lift that one up so it faces the side same there like that and that will basically stop the mobs from spawning okay that's looking pretty good right guys what we're gonna do now is we're gonna do a little bit of texturing on the build so this is gonna just make it look a little bit more rough a bit more worn and kind of a bit more like a church so get some stone bricks and some stone stone brick stairs now what we're gonna do is we want to go and kind of just scatter a few bricks about so kind of something like this let's go like that and like that and just kind of randomly randomly place some of these bricks there's no right or wrong way of doing this you just got to kind of scatter it if you don't like it in a certain place make sure you go and just put a stone back and yeah that looks pretty good right so now what you want to do guys is go around all of the front of the build the tower and the back of the build and you want to do this just texturize it up don't add too many you want kind of like i would say probably like a 50 50 of stone and stone brick um maybe even more stone brick than stone all right guys so here's kind of the look that you're going for you want to kind of just dot a few bricks around and as you can see, I've placed a few stairs in just to make it look like a broken brick here and there. And uh, you don't want to go too crazy with this though, because otherwise it doesn't look right. Just a few here and there, as you can see. And uh, yeah, that looks very good. Now down the sides again, guys, I didn't use no stone stairs down the sides because it won't look right because the glass won't connect to it. So just go and place in a few stone bricks, just like so. I think it looks better when you don't do too many and you just scatter a few. And then for the back, again, it's the same as the front. You want about 50-50 really for the stone bricks and stone. And then just a few sort of stairs just to kind of mix it up a little bit. And I think overall that probably looks really good. I think that that's probably about as far as I like to go for all of the texturization for this. I think that brings it out nicely. Now, before we head in and do the inside of the church, guys, let's grab some flowers and fill in those flower pots. So we grab some of those, some of those, these, and these. And then what we're going to do is we grab some of the lilacs, the roses, and the peonies. So first of all, let's quickly just do these little ones at the front here. Just, it's I just like to just kind of do it a little bit random, really. Just scatter a couple of rose bushes, one or two peonies, and then just fill the rest with a few different flowers. Something kind of. Um, maybe like that. Yeah, that'll do. Something like that. Just kind of scattered about, really. There's no kind of right or wrong way of doing it. You know, just however you feel, it looks the nicest. Yeah, something kind of like that. Now, we're just going to come down the side here, and we're just going to place some flowers in these flower pots. Okay, and I think that's looking pretty good, guys. I like that. The flowers are all in place. It's looking rather nice. Now, just one final detail, which I will just quickly add to the front here, is grabbing some stone slabs. And then we just want to come over to here, place three in front of these, and then one, and then one. Just like that. I think it just finishes it off. Three, one, and one. Yeah, I just think it just looks nice. It just moves off the flower pot and just, I don't know, to me it just looks nice. But it's up to you guys if you want to add it. 
Now, we're going to head on the inside and do a bit of work on the inside of this uh, church. Alright guys, one of the first things you want to do if you're planning survival is actually lighten it up on the inside here. I did forget to tell you that earlier, so I do apologise for that. But do make sure you put down torches and keep it nice and bright in here. Otherwise, you're going to get a ton of mobs spawning. Okay, so once you're in here, one of the first things we're going to do is grab our stone bricks and just on the very top of the wall here, we're just going to go and fill all of this in on both sides. So do this all the way down, all the way to the corner, and then the same on this side as well. Just like so. Now we're going to grab our polished andesite. And if you remember earlier, we left a dirt block, which was just in the line with the pillars. We're going to go ahead and we're going to, from the ground, put a polished andesite in front of them and then raise it until we get to the roof. We're going to do that in front of every dirt block. Okay, guys, once you're done, you should have something that looks a bit like this. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to grab our polished andesite again. And right underneath this edge here, we're going to fill all of this with the andesite. Make sure we fill it all the way across to the other side. Just like that to section off the windows. And we're going to do the same on this side. Now, we're going to go ahead and grab some stone brick stairs. And we're just going to make a little arch around the windows. So, we're going to go ahead and place an upside down stair there. Also, I can place one there and there. And just each side of the window. Okay, that's looking good. Right, go ahead and grab your polished andesite. And what we're going to do is we're going to come up by one. And we're going to extend this all the way across the edge. Just like so. And then we're going to go ahead and just fill in the space in the corner here like so. And then just underneath in line with the pillar like that. Just to section that bit of the roof off. So again, we'll do it on this side. So we'll start from the bottom pillar here. Let's fill in all of this corner and then we're going to extend this one all the way across. Just like that. Go down one, fill in this one and these ones here. And we'll do the same over here. Okay, that's looking good. Now over here where the doorway is, we're going to go ahead and we're going to place some polished andesite right across this edge here, like that. Then we're going to grab our stone bricks, our stone blocks rather. And then we're just going to make a row of them underneath just like that. And then the polished andesite again, we're going to place a pillar here and a pillar here. And just raise that up until the ceiling or the roof. Just like so. And then we'll place a torch there, there, and there. Now, we're also going to place a torch on the fourth block up on the pillars. Like so. We'll place one on these pillars as well. Okay, I'm also going to place a torch above the door. Okay, that's looking pretty good. Let's grab our stairs again and just quickly put one on the inner edge here. Just like so. And we'll also do it down at the back here. We'll place one there. And one there. And then we can go and just fill behind that in with some polished andesite. Same on this side. There we go. That looks a bit better. Okay, it's looking pretty good, guys. It is slowly shaping up. Now, grab some spruce slabs and underneath your windows, place some slabs across the wall like this. Just one block up. You want to be on the top half of the block. Do the same on the other side.
Okay, now we're going to do a little bit of work on the ceiling. We're going to give this a try. So I've got a nice idea for the ceiling. So what we're going to do is we'll go right to the back of the church. We're going to place an upside down stair there on the um, on the uh, stairs that are on the roof. Then place one there, then there. So we basically skip a block each time and just keep going down, skipping one block each time. And then don't forget to get one just in there. Now, you should miss the polished andesite pillars that are through the center here. We shouldn't actually end up landing on those. So, we're going to go ahead and extend these on the next level as well. And also on the third one. And then, finally, on the very top of the roof here, we're actually just going to run stairs all the way across the top. Like so. Now we're going to repeat exactly what we've done on the opposite side of the build. So again, we'll start from the back of the church. Do every other block. Okay, that's looking good. Now we are going to line it, brine it up in just a minute, guys. But it's a little bit awkward to get any light up there at the moment. So what we're going to do, get your dark oak logs. And then in the gaps where the stairs were, we're going to go one, two, and then three. Like that, yeah? One, two, three. One, two, three. And just do that all the way up. Right, guys, once you're done, you should have something that looks a bit like this. Now, I know it is dark, but trust me, it's all going to come together in a minute. So, what we're going to do is go to the back of the build. So where are we? There's the, the red cross. So, the back of the build. On the bottom level here, we're going to go one, two, three, four, five. On that fifth one, we're going to come up. And then at the top here, we're going to just extend this one all the way across. So we have like a beam in the center. In the center of it, we're going to place a spruce fence. Then we're going to just grab ourselves a couple of other things. So we're going to get ourselves some iron bars and some end rods. Now you can use torches for this if you want, but I'm going to use the end rods because they look nicer. But if you don't have end rods, go ahead and put down some torches for this instead. Now place one, two and three iron bars. Place a fence at the bottom. So one fence, three iron bars, one fence. Place one at each side like so. Then go underneath. Place two fences underneath like that. And then place one there. And then just kind of wrap it around. So you should have like a three by three fence all the way around. Just like this. And then just place one in the center. At each side like that and that gives us a nice kind of shape for a chandelier now on top of these stairs at the very on the top of the fence rather place your um, end rods and then the same again on the next level down but get the court get the ones in between as well so you should have like three down diagonally at each side all right guys now I think that looks pretty good now what we're going to just quickly do is go up to the very top beam here and put either a torch or an end rod just on top like that. And then that just brightens up the top of the roof and I think that just brings everything together. Now if you want to add a final bit of detail, one thing you could go and do is add a couple of spruce fences in like this. I think this can look quite effective on the ceiling. Do this all the way down. I don't like putting it on the top ones though. I think it doesn't look right when you put it on the top ones. But you can do it down the sides like that if you want. So I'm going to go and do it down this side as well. Okay, and that is looking good. Right guys, we're almost finished now. This is right the very last part now, so we're nearly there. Now, we're going to just go to the back of the church where the cross is. And we're going to just fill in this gap here with some polished andesite. Then we're going to fill it all the way across the front like so again. Then we're going to just go in by one. And do something a little bit like that. Go ahead and place a spruce or a dark oak slab at this side here so that people can actually walk up. Nice and easy. And with your spruce stairs you just want to place one on the corner like so. Facing inwards. Then an upside down one and an upside down one with a slab in the center. And then place two end rods at each side like so. 
and they kind of look a bit like candles. Then grab yourself some spruce stairs, place two there to look like some nice little seats. And I think that looks pretty good. Now, from the center of the front, so here's the center block, we're gonna go and turn around and we're gonna go one, two, and three. Place a temporary block on the center there. Leave one block gap, place one, two, three stairs there. Leave one block gap at this side and then one, two, and three, and then we can break that block in the center. Now, we just wanna place rows of stairs, leaving one gap behind. So, like so, leave one block, one block gap. One block gap, and then one block gap. And we'll do one more row, like so. Now let's just do the same thing here. So got a row of three. One, two, three. One, two, three. And one, two, three. Okay, just to finish this up, guys, let's grab a little bit of carpet. We're also going to grab some glowstone. And from the center, we're going to break out a block like so. Break that all the way to the door at the front. Go ahead and fill this all with glowstone. And then place some carpets on top. This way that covers all of the light. But it allows the light to come through and it brightens up the room. Now, just place a couple more glowstone here. Going around the edge to this one here. Same on this side. And then place your carpets on top. And then finally, grab a chest or a few chests and just place a couple around. So place one there, one there, and then maybe a couple down here, just as if they're like little donation boxes. And I think that looks pretty good. And if you want, you can always grab yourself a flower pot and a couple of flowers and just brighten up the room with a few flower pots placed around, if I grab the flower pots first. So I like to normally place a flower pot on the front here with one of those in, and then just place one underneath the windows maybe. All right guys, well, this is looking pretty good. One final bit of detail I added was an item frame with a slab where the torches are, um, but that was about it. And I think that brings us to the end of the tutorial. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you guys have enjoyed it. If you did, please remember to hit that like button. It really does help me out. And if you're new to the channel, then please consider subscribing. Just remember to hit that notification bell so you get notified every time I post a new video. But with that being said, this is Blue Nerd signing out, and I will catch you guys in the next one.